Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. Hello, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the guide section of Long War of the Chosen. Today we are going to take a look at mission infiltration mechanic and how to deal with that. Um, as always, my shameless plug, if you enjoy the guides or and or my content, feel free to subscribe to the channel or leave a positive comment down below. And let's jump into the topic. Now, infiltration is a mechanic that has been implemented in Long War as basically an option uh, to um, yeah, even out uh, the way that you are playing the game. So before we go into infiltration, um, let's cover the, the, the details a bit. Infiltration um, essentially describes your operatives that you are sending on a mission um, that are going to uh, take some time to infiltrate and scout the mission par parameter in advance, hence making it easier for you to actually do the mission. Now, the maximum time that you have in order to do that is the time between when the mission must take place, so the latest potential starting uh, time, and the time when the mission is discovered. So first and foremost, the first thing that you should know about infiltration is you will get better results in infiltration if you're actually using a lot of intel. Uh, by using a lot of intel and having everyone be on intel, even modify that with a scientist in there um, to get better results for intel, and having 12 operatives per um, um, per um, uh, area, that will give you the best chance to spot out missions in advance. Whenever you spot a mission, it will uh, tell you how long uh, the mission uh, has to infiltrate. That could be anywhere between one hour and 12 days, which is um, uh, the maximum for most of the missions. As uh, the vigilance in an area becomes higher and um, uh, the um, uh, time shortens as the liberation process in an area becomes uh, longer. So the more you have liberated an area, uh, the more of a bonus you will uh, get and the faster the actual, uh, the actual um, uh, re uh, times uh, will be. Now, the higher difficulty you are taking, the more, <clears throat> uh, the more um, difficult it will be to even spot out missions. Let's say you've spotted out a mission and the mission uh, tells you it's five days until it needs to go. The next thing that will happen is the game will essentially um, offer you, um, and I can show you that on this uh, Iron Man uh, safe game because it forces me to um, basically go into the mission next, but uh, what the game offers you is um, it offers you the option to um, apply a team towards that infiltration. And you will see that the more people you put into uh, the infiltration, the longer the infiltration base time will be, and at some point it will be more than you do have available. Which brings you to the question, how much should I infiltrate and what are the effects on infiltration? I'll give you the summary in advance and then I'll explain the details. You should always strive to infiltrate at least 100% if that's possible. Under some circumstances, you can uh, get away uh, with anything below uh, as, as low as 75%, but I would recommend always to go to 100% uh, percent if possible. There's one noticeable um, exception, which are supply rates where you can keep corpses. Um, you might want to do a 0% infiltrate that supply rate, Although that is a very high risk, very high reward type of gameplay where you can get a lot of uh, resources if you can pull it off, but you can also lose your entire team if you are not uh, really, really understanding what you get yourself into. So let's take a look at what is the impact of a certain percentage number of infiltration. Uh, in here you can see <clears throat> the SWAT has infiltrated uh, to exactly 100%. Surprisingly enough, I could all uh, only take four people because when I um, got that particular mission here, and it now says must launch or abort, uh, when I got that particular mission, I uh, found out uh, that I can only field uh, four people with the equipment um, and the technology that I had available. So if I had taken a fifth, uh, there would have been uh, not there wouldn't have been enough time for a hundred percent infiltration. Hence it would have led to certain effects. And I want to show you the, these effects right now. All right, here we are in the all-knowing um, 
uh, Long War II wiki. I don't want to bore you with the details of everything, but we're going to zoom in on one particular case, which is effects of infiltration. Now, this table here is probably the most important part of what I'm going to talk about. 100% uh, of infiltration is your baseline. That means that uh, your team has properly prepared the mission. Uh, that means that the strength level of, of the enemy is just as much as it originally indicated. It will have no um, benefit or penalty. If you over infiltrate, so positively speaking, you do 125%, 150%, or 200%, you are reducing uh, the enemy level by one, two, or respectively three. What does that mean in concrete numbers? If we are uh, looking um, again at our example of uh, the um, current mission, you can see that the baseline um, activity in this particular case had been moderate. So we're talking about tw around 20 enemies. Um, if I would have over infiltrated this mission here, so to 200%, the baseline activity would have decreased three times from moderate to um, uh, to uh, lightly moderate, um, light, and even very light. So it's from 19 down to 15 to 12 to um, 9 to 12 as, as the baseline if I would have infiltrated it with 200%. Uh, now I clearly didn't uh, do that, uh, which means we are back to the original um, 100 uh, 100 which in the specific case of a mission that i showed you would be 20 um, uh, 20 enemies now here comes the interesting part uh, because realistically speaking in the vast majority of all cases you won't find yourself in the luxury to even have uh, those um, those infiltration odds in most of the cases you will find yourself in this particular area uh, where you don't have enough time to infiltrate a mission and you kind of need to guess do i really want to do that um, you can see that depending on how much you infiltrate uh, there will be up to 12 strength level increases so just let that sink in 20 uh, would be um, would be the baseline this year would be 23 that would be 26 that would be 30 this year would be 40 this year would be 50 and this year would be 60 which is usually swarming plus 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 so five pluses um, and you are guaranteed to have at least 60 enemies um, specifically in those areas here you are um, you are going to, uh, likely going to face even more than the announced amount of enemies due to massive amounts of reinforcements and so on and so forth so that's already bad enough because uh, many of the time missions your team of um, six people will not be able to compete with 60 hence uh, you are going to rather go with four people and try to beat 20 enemies which sort of is what i would need to do in that particular mission now there is another um, influence which is uh, the enemy readiness which is basically their radius of uh, spotting you out normal is already bad enough um, but if they are guarded that is a substantial increase in their um, view uh, view range if they are alerted they will be sprinting so double moving if you're concealed and will also double move towards any sound that they hear uh, fortified and in um, pregnable uh, will uh, be even worse because everything from alerted to impregnable uh, will um, increase the pot sizes dramatically, um, which brings us to the 0% uninfiltrated um, supply rate. Uh, that might be great on paper uh, to fight 60 enemies because you get 60 um, bodies if you uh, successfully pull it off. But here's maybe something to consider. Whilst the normal pack size uh, might be anywhere between three and four aliens per pack depending on how far you are in the game um, and uh, plus 12 strength level uh, pack size might be 10 to 12 enemies so you have these massive packs that you uh, oftentimes cannot really divide and conquer lastly uh, with increased uh, strength levels the enemies will also move closer to your spawn and i 
had in my uh, run my fair share um, of times when they were essentially completely in our spawn um, and I needed to fight not only one but two massive packs so uh, fighting with uh, seven eight people against 24 enemies at the same time is no fun because uh, you are at a severe disadvantage with the action economy there's another uh, crucial point that you should know the advent uh, the sky ranger evac delay Usually, specifically in the later uh, stages, you will have four to five rounds of uh, Sky Ranger evac delay, um, which means if you are running into trouble at the beginning of a mission, uh, that's a problem. You can't call the Sky Ranger as well as long as you're concealed. That's another problem. So when uh, shit hits the fan, you need to somehow survive four rounds. Now, if you're going lower, that is all of a sudden um, no five rounds, then it's all of a sudden six, seven, and eight rounds, which is a horrible thing to do. Uh, there is another mechanic that comes on top of it, one that I strongly disagree with, but it is what it is, uh, which is the enemy reflex action uh, that uh, basically tells you uh, that if you are triggering an, uh, a pot, uh, then there is, uh, depending on your difficulty, a certain chance that even if you're triggering that pot in their round, uh, that they will uh, not only get their one action, but they will get a reflex action on top of uh, that. Meaning, let's say a pot runs into you on their turn, normally they will just scatter and uh, take cover. Um, in um, 1 to 0.1% of the chance, they will take an extra uh, action. Now here's the deal. You might wonder uh, why is Legendary even better off than Rookie. Uh, this here is made so that if you are properly infiltrate and um, there is nothing wrong, that a Legendary player can still very much rely on the fact uh, that in almost all of the cases there won't be any uh, reflex, uh, extra reflex action. Now, problem comes with each point of under infiltration, there is a cumulative increase in the chance that that is going to happen. And please take a moment to appreciate the amount of cumulative increase. If you are doing a 0% uh, supply run, there will be a 100% chance for every single enemy um, that one, when they are getting detected, that they will get an extra action. So not only are they running into you and can take cover, they will also be able to just take um, their time to do something. And let me assure you that that can be quite devastating because if you run into a pack of 12 enemies, some of them will have grenades, uh, some of them will use the grenades to remove cover, and then even if you are in a perfectly safe position with an overwatch trap, you might find yourself in a situation where they will just remove the cover and kill one of your uh, soldiers. Absolutely sucks, but it is what it is. There is also the detection radius increase that you should uh, know about, so below 100% the detection uh, radius will increase. For Legendary, uh, there is a 200% increase on top of the um, normal detection radius, which is just incredible. And low infiltration also will queue up uh, reinforcements. Um, I'm not going to go too, uh, too uh, much into detail um, on the actual reinforcement uh, point. Let me just say the following. If you go in with really low infiltration, uh, you will very frequently see reinforcements up to five, six times in a mission. And reinforcements are really a lot. Like we're talking not these typical drops of two to three enemies. We're talking about uh, psionic gate opens and voila uh, you're presented with an entire pack of 8 to 12 enemies just to make it a little bit more difficult so um, long-winded way of saying i hope uh, you understood that you want to go for the 100 percent infiltration i'll give you a couple of tips of how to reach that certain weapons will have a lower um, value, um, uh, that uh, um, a, a lower infiltration value. The lower the infiltration value, the lower the, um, uh, the, the time uh, that a certain uh, person with that weapon will take. In other words, if uh, everyone has an assault rifle and you switch some of them to a submachine gun, you will see that the infiltration time actually goes uh, down. 
Uh, suppressors, advanced suppressors, and delete suppressors are excellent uh, options to reduce that value. Generally speaking, as you can see, cannons, so um, uh, the gunners, as well as snipers, so generally heavy weapons, will carry more weight in the infiltration. So those two classes in particular are not necessarily the stealthiest for a sneak, uh, for a sneak team. Uh, you might want to keep that in mind. Lastly, uh, the amount of um, equipment that you uh, take, as well as the armor, uh, will influence uh, the infiltration. Generally, spider suits and wrath uh, suits will be a bit um, better on the infiltration. If you're getting rid of some of the equipment, uh, you will also uh, get rid of some of the, the time. Um, the reason why in my run, I'm always cutting out the whole preparation process uh, for an infiltration of a mission and just come with the um, result is that quite frankly oftentimes it's a try and fail um, uh, uh, mechanic where I'm uh, removing and adding uh, material. The best tip that I can get you is if your character class doesn't essentially need a weapon in order to regularly do deal damage, uh, such um, as, for instance, um, a supportive character class. You might want to just give it an SMG. Shinobis, for instance, or specialists can easily run around with SMGs. Uh, classes uh, like the infantry who rely on assault rifles should always keep the assault rifles. Elsewise, in my perspective, they become worthless, uh, and it's not um, really... Um, it's it's not really worth the trade-off. Secondly, more often than not, I'm willing to put less people onto the mission. I'm personally totally fine with playing with a lower number of um, of operatives through, uh, through missions. That's not a problem. And third tip. Uh, sometimes consider uh, leaving non-essential equipment behind. Uh, sometimes an ammunition or an extra shield is nice to have, but I'm getting rid of them just so that uh, I have to fight one la less pack. Uh, imagine it uh, as a trade-off. If you take one less grenade and the outcome will be that one less, uh, less pack will spawn, then that is a win in my book. Uh, that's it from the infiltration. Definitely a little bit longer than I expected, but it's an important mechanic. I hope you could uh, uh, take the key messages away from you. Good luck on your infiltrations and let me know what you think about it. Take care.